increase the number of people who get to experience the thrill of sit skiing. In our research, we found that the learning process is quite challenging. When a student's just starting out, their instructor skis behind the student, and the instructor is usually standing as well in case they need to slow down or assist the student in some way. During a lesson, the instructor can only give verbal instructions. Are verbal instructions really a satisfactory method to teach a physical skill? We verbally asked four people to perform a common sit skiing maneuver called opening the door. Then we asked them again while showing a person performing the action. Visual cues improve the learning process and reduce the steep learning curve for sit skiing. As the Paralympian alpine skier Talon Skeels-Piggins told us, what you really need is a person in a sit ski to follow while you're learning. We created a system that utilizes visual cues to help the learning process. Students receive visual demonstrations performed by advanced athletes in addition to the instructor's verbal feedback. We call this system Mimic. We worked with, this, with the advanced skiers to accurately track their body movements and create visual cues for the uh, disabled learner. It is important that the student and the instructor are connected in a non-invasive manner. The instructor must be able to give instructions to the sit skier without impeding his ability to ski. Using wireless communication and an internal gyroscopic mechanism, we created a device that we could wrap around existing glove technology. This allows the instructor to send numerous commands at the twist of a wrist. The instructor's gestures are transmitted wirelessly to the student and converted into visual cues. These cues are in the form of an augmented reality sit skier that will allow the student in real time to mimic the actions of a professional sit skier. So far we have gained interest from amateur sit skiers professional sit skiers, tutors, as well as Disability Snow Sports UK. Mimic, the future of adaptive sports training.